On behalf of Assembly Member Sam Hoyt. <coughs> Sam could not be here tonight because he's meeting with his colleagues uh, in the State Assembly for next session's budget. Um, I would respectfully request that you reconsider your proposal to increase NAP fares by 50 cents. The reasons to this are clear. Buffalo is, according to the U.S. Census, the third poorest city in the United States, with a poverty of nearly 30 percent. Buffalo has the highest fuel prices in the state, cutting into the auto transit buying power of the poor. The fare increases will deeply impact those who can afford it least at a time when it could not hurt more. We could be asking those who could afford it to pay their fair share. Unlike some of the, <coughs> unlike some of the many people served by the NAFTA infrastructure, public transportation riders are the least likely to fly out, at, fly out from one of your airports or operate a recrea recreational yacht. With Canadians representing around 30% of airport customers and out-of-towners another share, we could really be looking at ticket surcharges, concession fees, and parking fees, not to mention yacht club slipper rentals in the small boat harbor instead of hitting up those who can least afford it. I also want to make this with NAFTA officials who told, us, who told those who showed up at least at the last hearing that a fair hike was the only way to close a, a $3.2 million budget gap. According to press accounts, blame was placed squarely on a loss of outside revenues, primarily state aid and mortgage tax. I can't speak to the mortgage tax issue, but I'm here to counter the claims about state aid, at least on the basis of history and what I have heard in Albany. We in the Western New York delegation have worked hard to maintain and improve funding for our public transit system. In recent history, that advocacy has allowed NAFTA to enjoy large increases of state funding. From 2001 to 2002 until today, cumulative increases in state aid have been 23 million, and the average increases for those years is 15.9%. We did not increase aid every year, two years we did not, but during that time we never cut aid. 